Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's start vision one two right now Yes <laughs> That's this uh, dramatic entrance here is kind of ruined a little bit by the very long loading time But whatever it's okay. We've started and we're inside a mine. This is another fairy I would like my times two multiplier please and take advantage of it if I possibly can even though I'm probably not really gonna be bothering much with gems all that much to be honest I mean you pretty much have unlimited lives other than you know having to continue if you lose all your lives rather than add a checkpoint but yeah <laughs> I've never been much for collecting little piddly stuff like that in games in case you didn't know that from my videos <laughs> so you won't see me collect too many of those or I should say go too far out of my way to get them these shield guys you have to get from the back you can't hit them from the front they actually actually block your little Hupo guy, which is kind of weird that he lives in your ring for some reason, but he makes an excellent weapon. By the way, you can't do that little hover thing with, uh, you know, with your ears there if you're holding an enemy for some reason. Probably just to give you a little more restriction, like, you know, make things a little more challenging at times. And here's a minecart. Probably the most poorly designed minecart in history. Despite it being automatic... Yeah! <laughs> But don't worry, it makes it to the end, and you can't, you can't like, fall out of this thing no matter what you do, so don't worry about it whatsoever. Um, but you do want to look out for these gems, crystal things, I believe they're called dream crystals and try and collect them on their way. The perspective sometimes makes it hard to jump at the right time, but, eh, you'll get the hang of it, but you don't even have to collect them anyway. So I guess it doesn't really matter if you do or don't. <clears throat> now over here, I believe you want to take the lower path. As a heart. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely the lower path first, because this leads to a dead end as well as a bonus type area thing, which is in this cave here. And avoid that checkpoint thingy at the moment. Uh, you want to try to also avoid collecting too many of these gems. E oh, because you get the times two multiplier there, and you want to backtrack. Oh, the gems disappeared. Oh, no, I'm trapped. <laughs> I was getting claustrophobic. And now I'll hit the checkpoint just because I collected the poop. And this path right here takes you back to the other path. Well, you know the, where the split path was. Since I went under that stone structure, this time I'm going over it. And which will lead you over to here. And just take an enemy over here because there's something hidden. See these gems? There's often indications of little hidden things like that, and these eggs can only be opened with enemies, that's why I wanted to grab that enemy ahead of time. By the way, I did not... I mean, I never 100%ed this game before, so I'm going Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest style here, in that I have faith that I'll be able to 100% this game for my first time by the end of this. So, yeah. <laughs> I really hope that goes well. Um, there's a sign here. It'll say, whenever you see a sign that looks like a Marble Hornet symbol, you probably won't get that reference unless you look up the YouTube channel. Uh, just throw an enemy at it. But that, that symbol is up there, which I'm not going to be doing just yet. I'm going to take this path around here and hit this egg with an enemy because there's a trapped villager. So it's very worth going around that path if you want 100%. Oh, no, 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 no! I am shamed. So very shamed. Oh, and when you die, um, everything that you had uh, after you hit a checkpoint is lost after that checkpoint. So you have to go and recollect the things that you uh, already collected, like that villager that I showed you back down on this path. I'm going to have to recollect it, unfortunately. But that was sort of my fault because I got a little too hasty and the little bunny critter thing, whatever the heck that is, got me. Oh. <laughs> I shouldn't die this early on the game, that is preposterous. And there's a 1-up, and now this is back to the normal path. It's not that much of a loss, I suppose, of time. And... This thing makes that stone fall, and makes a bridge, if you wouldn't have guessed that, obviously. It kind of reminds me of those Super Mario 64 <clears throat> plank things. You know, those ones you hit uh, back at Womp's Fortress to knock over. I don't know why it reminds me of that. Probably because, you know, you just hit it, make a bridge, something like that. Uh, there's a bunch of hearts there if you need them, but... <laughs> don't really need them, obviously. And cutscene! We finally made it to the top of Bell Hill. 
Bell Hill is the place that you've seen that uh, ship thing crash into off on the side. There's the ship, actually. <laughs> Uh, these two don't seem too friendly, uh, e except to each other. <laughs> so yeah, there's a songstress Lafice, unconscious, likely because of them. Dang! <laughs> Not if I have anything to say about it. Give me the bender. Well, now, isn't this strange? It doesn't seem to be here anywhere. Maybe she got mugged. <laughs> Blabbermouth! Why are you so loud? Dang you, Hupo! I mean, he seriously said that at pretty much full speaking volume. Well, we could go back into the mine, I suppose, but eh, let's fight him. Well, okay, we won't actually fight him. Coming from a villain. <laughs> Even though this boss is ridiculously easy, you can try your best, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, it is the first boss in the game, after all. Pretty silly looking critter, though. <laughs> My god, everyone's a blabbermouth in this game. <laughs> yeah, he just told the weakness of that guy. You just throw enemies into his back and that's it. <laughs> Um, he's also got a bunch of other attacks which I'm going to attempt to show just by letting him live. <laughs> I, I, I believe the most devastating attacks happen when he's on his last legs. He only takes four hits to the feet. So I'm just going to... Oh, Sonic Rain Boom! Thought only Rainbow Dash could do that. that there, may be, there may be some continuity errors here. <laughs> uh, he's got that shockwave that hurts. Um, you can throw stuff at the bell. Or throw enemies at the bell to get hearts. Yeah, and recover your health if you for some reason need to. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Really, that the, I don't think he's got any more attacks. That was incredibly easy. <laughs> he's even predictable. Because he gets into like a jumping stance, so you can tell what he's going to be doing before he even does it. Or maybe it's just, just because I'm more, like experienced in games or something. I don't know. I'm pretty sure this game is considered extremely easy. But it's very fun, I recommend you play it. Looks like she hit it there. And wasn't mugged after all. <laughs> Whatever he's got in that cup looks extremely thick. <laughs> Not sure I'd want to drink that. Oh, that's a pipe, not a cup. Oh, jeez, I'm an idiot. <laughs> well, that explains it. It's tobacco. I, s 
I seriously couldn't tell at the angle before. Yeah, that looks like a cup at that angle, doesn't it? Right. Well, a rather small cup, like shot glass size, full of what I thought was soil at a time. <laughs> and yeah, I'll save why not, sure. Well, that's all I'm going to be doing in this part. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part, when we go to an entirely new kingdom. Yeah, there's only a few stages per kingdom. Like, you see, it just goes straight from 1-2 two to 2-1. Two, yeah. As I said, hope you enjoyed.